Hi guys, welcome back to MK Sports Cars. Well, today we've got a nice little feature on this bad boy. It's the MK Indy RR CBR 1000 RR. Now that's a lot of RRs going on, but I'm gonna go through some of the details on this. Now, if you've been subscribing, you probably would have seen this car built. Now we'll probably post you up a link to the original build. It was a factory built car by us back in uh, 2019, I think it was. No less than that, 2020-ish, <laughs> I think it was, three years ago, sort of thing. So this particular car though is, well, the best bit about it is going up for sale. You may have seen it, we've put it up on our Cars for Sale page. Again, we'll flash you up a link, but I'm gonna talk you through some of the features and then we're gonna show you a little test drive. Now, done in the gorgeous, I'm gonna call it sky blue, golf blue, gorgeous sky blue, golf blue color. It's fully round tube chassis. Rose jointed, you've got Compromotive CXRs all round on this, Toyo R888 tyres, we've got Wilwood front brakes on it with Mintex 1144 pads, we've got standard rear brakes but with Mintex 1144s. Uh, in the back here, we've got a 362 LSD in there as well. Now running into the interior, really nicely detailed. This car was way ahead of its time when we'd done it actually, which is the carbon dashboard, carbon center tunnel top, savage switches, ETB digi dash, which has GPS capabilities. We've done the cow horn paddle shift on this one and it's got full flat up shift on this as well. Got a go race quick release boss, which is super slick and trick, really nice. You've got the three inch belts all round, on this particular one, which is really gonna hold you. Now this car has been dialed in amazingly on track. Ben has loved this car. He is a somebody who works with us as well, and it's just been dialed in. It's such a weapon. And the reason is for this under here. This little CBR 1000 RR is a rocket ship, a 13,750 RPM rocket ship. This has been fully refreshed by RLM as well. This engine has been done, I think, one track day since its full refresh as well. It's, it's ready to go, really. I mean, it's carbon center, to, uh, you know, carbon tunnel here. Beautiful detailed engine by Onis. This has been fastidiously maintained by the present owner, Ben. Uh, you've got Protect shocks all around. You've got the LED light pack on it as well, which were the first ones we did at that particular time. And he, LED light pack on the rear as well. It's got everything. There ain't nothing this car needs. The only thing it needs is a new owner. And there's the only reason it needs a new owner is because Ben's gonna move on to another project. He loves this car so much, but he really don't want it. It's got a custom roll cage on it that was done at the time as well. So it's only one thing to say, look, this car is a weapon. The only way you're gonna know is it's out on the road. So I'm gonna just hand you over now to Lewis and Ben, and he's gonna take you on a little spin. Who finishes work this early? Well, two o'clock. Is it only two? I think so. I think it might be three o'clock. I think that watch is slow. <laughs> it's been a little minute since I've been out in one of these. I think the last time I went out in one, it was actually Tony's S2000. Yeah. Um, and we know how that one went. Brown pants. Selling it, mate. <laughs> to be fair, it won't be too long until your K20's finished now. That'll be another severe case of brown pants. For those of you watching that want to buy a bike engine car, don't buy a bike engine car to sit in traffic. That is not the one. If you want one to sit in traffic, buy an RX-5. This car's got one of these at 15,000. Yeah. Sorry, 1,500. It wants to be sort of uh, up in the 11s, <laughs> 11s, 12s. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds a little bit better up there as well. It's almost time for it to stretch its legs. Not quite, but it's getting there. I mean, it's not going to be quite stretching legs like on uh, Snetterton Race Circuit, but we'll go with it. Nice windy day for it as well, which means the mic is going to pick up absolutely nothing. But to be honest, I think most of the video is going to be letting the car do the talking more so than hearing me commentate over it, because there isn't going to be much to hear. And I think you'd rather 
never hear the voice of the car than my annoying voice anyway. Ben agreed with that one. Now, for those of you watching at home, I think I'm going to have to do my best to cover the microphone and talk straight into it. Because it is a windy day with a bit of wind from the speed of the car as well. So, for those of you who are watching this video who are interested in the car, this car is actually for sale. I'm going to put the price on the screen up there. Now, if you're looking for a car to absolutely bring blitz around the track, this is the car for you. The bike engine CPR 1000 RR, you're really going to be roaring through the gears and you're going to be passing a lot of the things which are going to be trying to race you on those track days. Whereas, if you're looking for more of a road car, I would suggest you go more car engine with the likes of the RX5, and we actually do have an RX5 140 which is up for sale currently. Separate video on that. But with a bike engine car, it's one of them things you don't really find any other cars which sound similar. I mean, the, the confusion you get from people as you fly past hitting 14,000 RPM, they don't really know what's coming for them. If you've never been in an MK or any sort of Lotus 7 chassis car before, you really should be prepared for an assault on all senses because I mean, I've been in some fast cars in some other videos outside of this channel and it really does not compare being at, at one with the noise of the car, sort of the wind, having the open top is completely different to being in the interior of a cosy little Corvette, may I say. When you sit in one, they go hand in hand with wanting to own one. I mean, I've only been out in a handful of our cars just from being absolutely flooded with work back at the factory, but every time, it's so hard not to have a smile on your face. So as you may know, this car actually does have a quick shifter on it. So if you're looking to get up through the revs, you don't need to worry about dipping the clutch too many times and losing that losing that time around the track because you can just absolutely blast through the gears which you may see later on in this video if we uh, manage to get around this Ford Focus there's a chance you may see that finally lost the Ford now give it a chance to stretch its legs range 
If you can find me a car that you can chuck round a corner as quick as this, I'll be very surprised. do some driving and get some lovely flybys for you so you can hear the noise of it hitting uh, legal rev ranges because we are definitely in Mexico right now selling this thing I sell it. <laughs> now if that isn't a sales pitch then I don't know what is he doesn't even want to sell it <laughs> It's on rails, it's absolutely unreal. If you want a car, we're just going to fly past anything on a track. Look no further because this is absolutely unreal. I mean, as a passenger in this car, you feel like you're going to fly out the back of it it's so quick.
I think finding a car to go and do your shopping in is not quite the car for you. But if you're looking for a car to fly past somewhere doing 14,000 RPM, then yeah, look no further because this car could potentially be yours if Ben actually decides that he will sell it. Because I think just recording this video, he's almost trying to convince himself that he wants to sell it. among vehicles but to be honest I'm pretty cosy in here I mean you get hugged by the seat obviously as you'd expect bucket seat sort of style so you're not going anywhere but to be honest with the acceleration of this thing you're not going anywhere anyway because it pushes you so far back into your seat but in terms of space I'm not the smallest of people I mean I'm, I'm probably about 6'2 and uh, this is on the regular floor pan so this is not lowered floor pans and GRP seats and someone who's six foot two can fit in here and I fit in here with a helmet on before as well so you're not extremely tight for space or uncomfortable so if that's something you was looking to ask then there you go there's the answer before you even got to ask the question so but if you want to come down the factory and try yourself a size then currently this is over at our HQ in Braintree I mean, there's only really one way to find out whether you fit in it nicely, and that's to sit in the car. Right, well, I hope you actually enjoyed that. I know Lewis enjoyed that little test drive we're out there, Ben. And you can't really show what these cars can do on the road. It's on the track where they really, really excel. The bike engines with a six-speed sequential gearbox, it's amazing. They stop, start, and go like anything else. If you want to know more information, obviously, come down here, see us at the factory. You can come and see the car, come out for a test drive, etc., or give Andy or Neil a call in the sales team, and they'll be able to help you there. That's it for this week, guys. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and we will catch you next time.